From the glaciers of Greenland to West Africa and back to New York City, we're taking you around the globe in this first episode of NYU Brainiacs. You're about to see three really cool research projects happening right now. First, we're heading up to the Arctic, to the fjords of Greenland. That is where NYU oceanographer David Holland is studying climate change. Every single year, for more than a decade, he and his team deploy 10 research buoys off the side of their boat. Those buoys are actually data collecting devices that monitor the water temperature and look for wave activity. Those are early indicators of warming ocean temperatures and rising sea levels. Some years we see very warm ocean waters around Greenland and we see very large response in the glacier, a lot of melting and a lot of breakup. And they actually witnessed that in action and they caught it on camera. You're looking at a glacier roughly the size of lower Manhattan breaking off. That process, by the way, is known as glacier calving. From the Arctic, we're heading over to West Africa. That is where text messaging is turning out to be really helpful during public health emergencies. It's helping to get real-time data about how people are responding and reacting. During a recent Ebola outbreak in Liberia, researchers at NYU College of Global Public Health and NYU Tandon sent out text message surveys. And they found, for example, that more women were giving birth at home because they were too scared to go to the hospital and possibly get Ebola. And speaking of crowdsourcing data, NYU researchers want your help with their Sonic or Sounds of New York City project. They have sensors like that around the city and they've been collecting noise pollution data for the last couple years. Now they want volunteers to listen to the 10 second recordings and help identify the urban sounds. Okay, it sounds like music from a car driving by, so I think that counts as mobile music. Information like that will help train the sensors to automatically recognize those sounds in the future. Thank you to our awesome students for trying it. Thank you for watching. I'm Sapna Parikh. I'll see you next time.